Good evening. <laughs> blub blub. Uh, another stream, another time to finish Paradigm. <laughs> All right, let's hop in. Uh, right, we have been in space. This is where we left off last time. In space. Hello, Speedy. <laughs> Right, we fixed we fixed the translator. We can now we are not talking English again. And I quite do not remember all the things we have talked to or not. I think we've done the most part except for the computer because that only listened to us in English and the dog and the cabbage man. Let's talk to those two. You have a fun idea? What? What? It's <laughs> BB! Let's check out the dog again. I know we've done that already. Here who does Coprificat von Leica zwei dem ersten Hunde durch the vierte Dimension gereisen ist. Er ist mit super Intelligenz zurückgekommen und wird der erste Hund wird Präsident. Pizza seiner Tutong 2020. Ein Vorbild für Hunde überall. Okay. Yet it seems some translations are ingrained into my brain. I... I probably should schedule a doctor's appointment once this is all over. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently we do. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that that explains that. Yeah, we're speaking German. Yeah, um, yeah. Hello. <laughs> all the faith vegans are here. That's that's true. Yeah. And Mayfi, of course. Wow. As if Mayfi was not a faith vegan. <laughs> Rude. Rude. And me too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's concerned about his health now? Yeah, it seems It seems so. Apparently he is... He's now concerned. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Hello, like it's right to werden for uns alle eine Inspiration. Weird. It seems some translations are ingrained into my brain. I... I probably should schedule a doctor's appointment once this is all over. Oh, I get it. So they only had to record the voice acting one time? Is is that why they did it like this? Ich würde sie als eine Inspiration anschauen, like a spy. Wenn sie wird Präsident werden können, kann ich die teuerste elektronische Musik der Welt werden. Weird, it seems some translations are ingrained into my brain. I I probably should schedule a doctor's appointment once this is all over. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Also, I don't know, it's probably just me, but somehow I feel like today I understand the German better, but I mean that can only be me, right? Let's uh see if it's the same with what was that Polish? <laughs> Yes, must have yet to take up him, should Chebe rob him, go on key. Yes. Okay. Well, then I guess that, um, yeah, then I guess we don't really need to look at the other stuff because that all hasn't changed, right? You know, one German word, but then inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guess what? I know one Indian word, and that's also not appropriate. <laughs> I can use the floppy now. Oh, we need to... Oh, oh, that's what we need to use the floppy. Okay. Cześć, kompiterze, bigotze. Dobrze, żeby było, kiedy bierzcie zmienią. Yeah. I can use the floppy now. I can use the floppy. Yeah, for two years, yeah, for not cool. All right. Okay. Well, then let's uh, straight up use the big floppy, right? And insert it. I don't know what to say. Oh shit! It's recording. <laughs> I miss all tech. New computers don't threaten your livelihood with high voltage. It's just not the same, you know. Why is our phone? Scientist guy, I've got the info. Great. Also, another might be some juicy goes on Dupa and yourself up there. So it's cool if you don't want to live yet. Just press the pickup button when you're ready to live. Mm -hmm. 
Is that bugged? Alrighty, I'm ready to be torn apart. <gasps> oh! I did not understand that. Oops. Alright, luckily we have seen everything. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Here's the floppy with the info on it. Alright, let me suss this out on the computer. Suss this out? Okay. So, what's the deal? Okay, so the basic rundown is... He's a genetically engineered slot, but they couldn't remove all his natural instincts, which include doing nothing all day and chilling on trees. Like a stoner? <sighs> no, like a sloth. Anyway, after you're done making shit jokes, if you could get a tree near him, it'd probably ignite his instincts. A five meter tree would probably do fine. Oh. There's a peer reviewed scientific journal I published on it. Oh, uh, wow. I'm not sure you understand what peer reviewed means. You watched me as I drew it. Peer reviewed. Oh my what god. What the hell? <laughs> a five meter tree? What other choice do you have? Let's be honest. This place has a bunch of messed up stuff going on. And just look at me. You'll find some solution. True. But you'll also need to get inside his room. The door is locked. Only the leader of the church of Leather Day Glen goes in there usually. He has a necklace that lets him in. You'll need to get it off him. Great. I've heard he loves to fight for things. Nostalgic about his wrestling days. And he loves JRPGs. What I'll put is it on this? a piece of paper too so you can remember. Uh, thank you, cool. Wow. Thank you for betraying your employer at the drop of a hat. Hey, no worries, man. I am a man of integrity. With a crippling addiction to free-to-play, food-based MMOs. Which was probably going to get me fired at a moment's notice. <laughs> Worth it. Once you get the stuff, Paradigm, I should have a plan to take down Olaf ready. So hit us up when you do. Man, I'm never going to get to finish my EP. There's so much happening. So... You finally decided to open Mysterious Hatch. Too bad I've already met another Hatch. We're doing great. Are we? Ah. Oh. No, stop. You're the one I've always wanted. <laughs> Your paradigm? By the way... Yeah? That's where they keep all the faulty prodigy children. Your brothers and sisters. Kind of. You can check it out if you like. Might be super weird and traumatic. But whatever. Do what you want. I'm not your mom. I guess that was pretty insensitive since uh, you were grown in a vat. Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, wish you luck. That's what people do, right? Okay. Wow. This is... This suddenly got very... Like, weird. Although, I'm not sure if it hasn't always been that way <laughs> okay okay i want to check if we have that document because i want to have a closer look at it if uh if i can yes all right the plan get five meter plus three olaf's weakness mm, trees he says <laughs> that's a pretty good drawn sloth actually he's pretty good drawn like look at that also, if this is more than six meters, I'm really worried because I thought actually the sloth was like normal sloth size, which is just like, like that, but not like, not like over, like that would be more than three meters then. That would be a big sloth, a very big sloth. That would actually be pretty scary. Okay. And we also need to steal the clam called leader's cross. Slash remote. Oh, because the cross is the remote. All right, so this opens. Figure A. Shit, I'm good at this. That's true. That's true. Loves JRPGs. Remember that, everyone. Loves JRPGs. Is that is that a sign? All right. Twenty six inches. Oh. 
Let's go see Paradise siblings, right? I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see them. I think I deleted a video I sent to you, or I would send to Mayfi also. Ah, uh, no, no, don't you? No. Wow. Wow. So rude. Can't just send your swear word videos to all the people. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> okay. Scientists guy dude. Oh, it's another dude. Now we have two dudes in here. Is that okay? Is that okay? Socks and sandals really became popular in the 2020s. Not for fashion, but for protection against flesh-eating viruses around at the time. Oh. Oh, we can we can ask him more. All the dudes, yes. We can still save it from the chats. I hope we can't. I hope we can't. Oh no. Does it uh, still hurt? Does what still hurt? The fact that your head is fused to your stomach and your limbs inverted. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I forgot about that. I actually feel better. I had some back pain, but now it's gone. Who thought it would take being broken by an interdimensional rift in time and space, and then being put back together would be a cure for chronic back pain? I'm already in talks with Big Pharma to be torn apart through space and time in pill form. That sounds great. Did you help make me? <laughs> no, dude. I got employed after the original guy died in a hot coffee accident. It was super messy. To be honest with you, I'm not even a scientist, dude. It's just that my word processing skills are on point. Fonts you've never even seen before. Clip art to make your eyes explode with awe. And borders? which will tickle you in places you never knew you had. Uh... Sure. Oh, uh, okay. Don't you feel guilty working here? Not really, man. I don't really do anything but make hot pockets and play fantasy MMOs on the supercomputer. In fact, you could even say I'm a hero, slowly draining puns from Dupa genetics. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Yeah, yeah, hero. Uh, all right. Oh, good question. This, this is a good question incoming. What is the meaning of science? Finding new aliens to make love to. Wait, that's just uh, space theme RPGs. Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea, dude. Uh, okay. We, we know all of weakness. Have you found any benefits from this whole disfigurement thing yet? Yeah, I don't have to pull my back to s- You know what? Let's talk about something else. What? Oh. See you, man. Uh, fingers crossed you don't die in the next couple of hours. Thanks. However, I'm more worried about finding fashionable items that will still fit me. Yeah, that might be a thing. Right, if he talks to us again... In some circles, people would use him to create medicinal medicine. That's probably true, Paradigm. He so when did he get so smart? Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, actually. But yeah, like I said, since scientist guy dude uh, talked to us more, maybe rebel leader also talks to us more. No. She doesn't. I've got to go feed my dog. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I think that's it. I think that means we are going see our to see our siblings now. Let's let's hop. Let's hop down. Mutant mole people can. Ignore responsibilities and emotion storage. Vault 6027. And a random coffin? That looks not good. What the hell is that? And what is that crocodile? It's alive? I didn't know you could abuse animals even for elevators. It's totally not weird at all. 
Hype, yeah. Yeah, we're hyping. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Uh... You and mole people con. 2026. Sure, they're playing Twister? Coffee? Some muffins? Okay. And that thing, here. That looks very good. We're not doing anything? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I guess we have to... What am I doing? Shit. God damn, geometry gate is always blocking dank entrances. Most people think they are from Crusher's radiation problem, but it's just a gross misuse of selective breeding. Just gotta smack him a few times. Oh great. Well then, if it's only smacking him a few times, sure. That 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 sounds fine. Geometry gators? Alright, let's um let's smack him. Is he making a squeaky sound? I'm sorry. <laughs> Is we can only go down, right? I think we can only go down. Oh my! Welcome to the live art installation of the Forgotten Prodigy Children. Help yourself to the free wine and nibblies over there. Sorry, you don't see him. You don't see him. Look at him. There. I should probably go to the other side, right? And go here. That's probably better. Because then he can still hear me. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Sound like a weird grunt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This. Uh, I I don't I don't really get that. Okay. Oh no, that's not where I wanted to click. Uh. Okay, wine, wine and nibblies, wine and nibblies. Oh, there is a trip organizer. Okay, okay. Oh, let's let's read it. Let's read it. Gordok, from the dungeon dweller. I have lived in this dungeon for years, decades, and now these prodigy children think they can walk in here and just such gentrification, nearly, nearly, willy nearly. They've driven up dungeon crime corners up by ten thousand percent. No, wait, that's... Huh? Wouldn't that be 100%? How, how are my mitosis copies of myself going to afford them in the future? I'm going to write a long and angry letter to the local dungeon council and get it sorted out. <laughs> okay, Gordork. Gordog the dungeon dweller. Okay, that's free, free. It says the sign says free nibblies and wine. So we should be fine. Ah, yes. Free wine and nibblies. The only reason people come to art exhibitions. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Sent it to her. Wow. Shame on you, Supreet. Wow. Good job. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy, Mayfi. Enjoy. Hello, art exhibition. Attend debate. Not sure I want to eat dungeon food. It's a personal rule I have. What kind of personal rule is that? I can't just take the only thing that might actually tempt someone to come to this art exhibition. That would be immoral, but we delicious. We could take at least one. No? Alright. Okay, nutritious soil TM. <laughs> what? <laughs> Applehead. So Applehead is also a sibling. As well as Fish Dude. Alright, let's talk to Fish Dude and then I can roll back. Applehead makes scares me a little bit. I think this piece means that fish which have feelings 
taste much better. Thus, you should take them out to dinner to get to know them first. Then proceed to have them for dinner. Bonk! Bad paradigm, yeah. Bad paradigm. Hello, fishman. Are you more of a man or a fish? Maybe you go by manfish instead. Maybe boyfish. Ladyfish? Fish fish. Man man? I give up. Oh, paradigm. Hmm. I'll use him to prove that fishman is real. Teach people to doubt me after drinking three bottles of vodka. To be honest, out of all the things I will pick up, I draw the line at fish based humanoids. What a really? huge fan of slimy scales. Really? But you would eat him after you. You would eat him after you took him out for dinner. Oh. Alright. Alright. Sludge is also here. Local conspiracy theater said this is where our water supply comes from. Nice. They also said our president is a mutated rat. Since when did having a tail and enjoying cheese mean you are a mutated rat? Well... I'm not going to argue that. Hello, questionable sludge which potentially kills multiple people every day. I could start my own teenage mutant fighting team. And proceed to make multiple spin-offs. Make bulk cash money from merchandising. Then be haunted by the terrible remake 20 years later. All right, all right. I really can't afford another tumor. I just won't be able to give it the life it deserves. What? Why? Why though? Why? I think we could. I think one more would be just perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's talk to Applehead. They look so motivated. Weirdly. Yeah. An apple a day keeps the lack of direction and student loans away. All right. <laughs> what is this place? It's the hottest exhibition in all of Krush. It looks more like a dank dungeon prison to me. Yeah, to some regular art pleb like you. Come on, look at the mood lighting. Don't lie to me. That's definitely dank dungeon lighting. Uh, all right, all right. It's an art exhibition which happens to be in a dungeon prison where Duba Genetics keeps all its faulty prodigy children. Just between you and me, I think some very rich art collectors are coming down here soon. People are starting to realize the appeal of dungeon prisoner art. Are they? Are they? I'm not sure if they really are. Same face, Farron? Same... Wait, what? Me and Applehead? What did you do before you decided to take up uh, performance art? I was a prodigy at pen spinning. You know, that one kid who was always good at spitting the pen on his hand. Yeah, I know, pretty lame. The guy who ordered me was super mad that his university friend could do it, but he couldn't. So he commissioned me. Now I can't even look at pens without getting PTSD. Ooh, all right. Me and you, aw, we're doing the same thing. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm a prodigy child too, you know. An electronic music prodigy, that is. Aiming to become the greatest in the world. Really? For commercial or deep and meaningful artistic reasons? Do you have rationale? Do you pleasure yourself over the sheer level of artistic intelligence that emanates from your head? I know I do. I just, uh, like the way some beeps and boops sound, I guess. Also, I would not be opposed to fat sticks. You truly are a disgusting human being paradigm. Art is for the soul, what? and for stroking the ego. You are not an artist. Now I see why you peeps are in a dungeon. Yeah? Wow. 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 Applehead is kind of mean. Applehead is totally mean. How dare, how dare they say we're not an artist? Oh my god. Lol, you're laughing? Can I give you a critique? No, you're wrong. I didn't say anything. Wrong! Ah! All right, Applehead. All, all right. All, all right. Perry's a human. 
Perry? Can I ask you something else? Sure. Preferably about me and my art, though. Perry? What is the meaning behind your performance art? You're supposed to interpret it yourself. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's too smart for anyone to guess. Especially a pleb like you. Couldn't work it out in a million years. First, you need to know the context. All right, so me with this apple on oh. my head represents the vegan industry caught up in its own philosophies. Also me in general feeling stuck. The skull above my head represents death looming above us. The party hat means that death sometimes can party, like when you party and almost overdose. However, there are a bunch of extra meanings. I mean, that was just the synopsis. Basically, if you look a little bit more closely, there is some dirt here. This actually represents how dirty we are. When I say we, I mean modern society, i.e. you, with its dirty and hypocritical morals. Damn, I'm on another plane of thinking. And that was the shortened summary. Uh, wait, what? Were you even listening? Uh, y yes. The nickname I gave him? Who? Who is Perry? The apple? The fish? The soil? The person inside the apple? Apple had kind of full of them. Yeah, right. Apple had. No, Apple had is just wrong. Yeah, pretty, pretty wrong. Perry's parrot. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Well, obviously. What did you think he is? Of course, he's a human. What else would he be? Look at him. Look at those eyes! He's so human! <laughs> what? Who is your favorite artist? Christoph Kandowski. Why? The few people who have seen it still don't understand his art. Uh, he makes me so inspired. Uh. Have you considered he might just be mentally insane? And that's why his art is incomprehensible. Don't make me get my exacto blade out. I'll carve my initials on you and claim you as a living, breathing, eating art piece. My life is already an art piece of self-loving sloth and gluttony. What was his name? Christoph Kristofsky? Christoph Kudovsky? I want to look that up. Is that a is that a real thing? Scary Applehead. Yes, did someone get the name? No, that was not, that was not the name. Oh no, now I'm finding absolutely not what I'm searching for. Oh, we'll have to look that up later then. But yeah, I'm kind of, kind of curious, kind of curious. All right, last question. What is true art? True art is... What? I'm sorry. Us true artists have ascended to another method of communication. One that a peasant like you wouldn't understand. Your face is kind of curious. <laughs> you are curious. Okay, uh, see ya. Enjoy your thing. Bye, pleb. Wow. Applehead, you're really mean. Wow. I don't need the extra vitamins. I mean, look at my skin. 
it's glowing, mainly because of extreme radiation, but also due to my healthy lifestyle. Long stream today. Wait, why? Why? You know, once I painted the bowl of fruit. Nutritious soil, trademark. The only way to grow things in Krush. Unless you want monstrosities. Like Doug. In your game, you mean Stray? I know that Stray is out, because literally everyone is streaming it right now. So yeah. <laughs> No, only five minutes. Stream ending any moment now. Ah, run! <laughs> you know, only dirt. While a handful of soil could always come in handy, Applehead looks like she uh, murdered me if I tried to take it. That is a possibility. That is a possibility. I will murder you if you try to wreck my performance piece. Okay, well then, then let's not do that. Portable floodlights are great for when you can't pay your bills and don't want to cry in the dark. All right. Hello, portable floodlight. I once changed a man's life using the art of shadow puppetry. That man was me. After another man kicked the shit out of me for having such a lame hobby. <laughs> oh my god. Then how will Applehead set the cinematic mood? Which even? It's not really. It's not really. Where is it even shining? Like this? This little thing here? Or uh, are you telling me I need. Uh, what? Oh my god. <laughs> RTX <laughs> is what I want to say <laughs> to see that properly. I'm joking, by the way. I don't actually mean that. So, well, okay. You're asking. You're asking because of Stray. Um, I haven't really thought about that because I don't know. I wanted to finish that game and not and not start Stray immediately now. Um, but I mean, technically. I don't know who would be who would let me know chat like who would want to watch and who would not watch like because you're playing yourself and you don't want to get spoiled uh i don't know let me know i i haven't like i said i haven't decided on anything so yeah just wondering it looks like this is the uh, only thing holding us up I'm secretly just trying to pe to get people to chat, obviously. <laughs> Hello, single screw, stopping complete destruction. All right. I need a small flathead screwdriver. Oh, but we can. Oh, oh my God, this will. Oh, I see what's going on. I need to unscrew it first. Oh my. All right. So I'm asking if stream will be long Stray of the Paradigm finale. Well, I haven't bought it and I haven't installed it, so I don't know. Man, that skull likes to live dangerously on the edge. I totally want to party with that skull. No partying with the skull. Don't be so mean, Applehead. Shut it. Get it together. Hello, party skull. Would be happy to see you, but it doesn't have to be today if it doesn't suit your plan. I don't have a plan, don't worry. <laughs> it's awfully close to the edge. That pointy hat says to me, I love to party, but get close to me and I might just impale you. Alright, yeah, why do I get this feeling that this party hat will actually impale someone? If I was a necromancer, I would want you all over my body. Wow. Paradigm's pickup lines are just the best. All right, let's um, cover it holes. All right, let's let's look at those. Next on Dungeon DIY, we've got the hole that leads to death. What to do? Salvage planks of wood, of course. Now the chances of slipping and dying are only seven percent. Nice. Swoon. What kind of answer is that? 
Look at all planks letting me walk on places I normally wouldn't. What if I use it? I will use this not to fall to my death and sustain an injury which would lead to starvation and death. Look. All right. Fair. That's fair. Okay. At this time, I do not need planks of wood. Why not? We'll consider it for our future DIY projects at home. <laughs> okay. That's fair. There's a hole. There's a road. Oh, there's so many things in here. Like always, I guess. Uh... Yeah, okay. Let's start with the keyboard dude. I want to I wanna hear about the keyboard dude. Was an answer. Was a reaction to you saying Perry has the best pickup. <laughs> I've heard of this guy before. Magic Melancholy. His target demographic is heartbroken wizards. Financially, he doesn't do well. Mostly because wizards are known for digital piracy. Okay, look. I, uh... Can't you see you're interrupting my visionary performance? Do it again and I will continue to scream! Wait. Oh, is it finished? Oh. Okay. I'll make sure to use him as an example where I don't want my music career to go. Yeah, same. They say the perfect man is truly a unicorn. Turns out, here he is, in all his greasy, unwashed glory. Who says that? I want to have a word with them. Who, who says that? I read once that piles of rubble in your living space increases happiness by 20%. Or was it the bestest like cancers? I get the two mixed up all the time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hello, Rubble. Mmm. I feel the asbestos lining my lungs. It's just like drinking a warm glass of milk. Oh my. There's not much I can do with it. The dirt is infertile and the rubble is useless. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just now noticed the toilet. <laughs> Why? Oh, okay, let's uh, let's check out the hole in the wall. Hey, I think there is a guy in there. Ah, okay. Let's talk to him. Uh, who are you? I'm the man in the wall. Okay, hi. Hi, man. In the wall. What are you doing in the wall? The job market's pretty unstable at the moment. Turns out you can live quite frugally on the inside of a wall. What do you do all day? Mostly I tell people I'm the man in the wall. But when that starts to run dry, I've got this mobile phone which has snake on it. <laughs> what? <Even> Tetris. <laughs> I've got the hard score. Most because I'm the only man in the wall. My yeah. high score! High score, yes! Hi! <laughs> I like your lighting choice. Thanks! I try my best to capture the insane man in a wall vibe. He does a good job. He does a good job with that. Later, Dude in Wall. Bye, Dude in the Wall! <laughs> hey, there's a price tag on here. $399. Live and dance, dilapidated emporium. Premium apocalypse, premium prices. Oh, rubber fake fine. Oh, it's rubber. Oh, okay, it's not real. That's a thing. Snake and Tetris, my two favorite retro phone games. <laughs> like the wall, dude. Me too. Me too. Wall, dude, sounds really cool. Yeah. Oh, wow, what? Secret dungeon discovered, secret boss unlocked Lich King. Oh, hello, traveler. I don't have any gold coins if that's what you're going to ask me. I lost that loot a long, long time ago. To a valiant warrior in search of valor and glory? No, to a messy divorce in which I also lost my favorite coffee mug. It's the Lich King. If you don't mind. I'd rather not talk about it. Hey man, you sure? Sounds like you need to talk it out. No. 
No. I've cried enough today. Why is there a mimic in the corner? If I go there, will they eat me? I mean, they probably will, right? But I was ready. I was ready. And what are those sounds? Where are they coming from? From the from the radio? I... Steve Lichman, by the way, Steve Lichman <laughs> is his name. All right, now we know. Now we know the Lich King's name. Yeah. Alrighty, alrighty. Impressive kitchen. It's not just a kitchen. No, it's an impressive kitchen. Look at that. It even has everything that an impressive kitchen needs. What is that? You've got quite an impressive setup here. Thanks. I used the last of my money on it after the divorce. It's paid for itself tenfold with all the money I make from bake sales. Not to mention improving my mental health. Hello, impressive kitchen. Wow. I'm not much of a baker. I tried to make a cheesecake once and it started talking to me. Man, too many objects talk to me. But... But a talking cheesecake? I mean... Hello, please! Hello! <laughs> uh, we just found the Lich King. Steve Lichman is his name. I think it's all he has left. I'm not that much of a dick. Poor, poor dude has been divorced, so that's very unfortunate. Hi, T. And what is that? <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh, nice. Hi, T. Who knew Lich Kings were so good at baking and making delicious tea? True, true. I mean, look at all the stuff he, he bakes. Muffins and cakes and croissants. And yeah, now I think that's probably it. That's obviously a block of vegan butter, you know? That thing, I don't know, I don't know. Looks, looks impressive. What's that cupcake? You want me to stuff my face with you? If I weren't so busy and stuff, all your friends would be inside of me. <laughs> all right, all right, Paradigm, all right. You know, if I have one, I'm probably going to eat everything. Then hate myself. Then be hyper aware that I have an overweight belly. I'll pass. Yeah. Who wouldn't do it like that, right? When you have one, you gotta have all. If only I could fit the entirety of it in my pocket. I'd probably die of diabetes. <laughs> you knew you were coming. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> great. That's a great use of my name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mr. Lichman. Uh, all right. It's Lich King de-stressing. Uh, what are you doing here? It's just a little place I like to get away to, you know? Clear my head. Kind of like a holiday home. It's also the only place I can practice my baking and not be called a, a pussy bitch. Oh, that is mean. Wow, that's that's so mean. Uh, what do you do? I've got a really successful Pinterest page with all sorts of baked goodies and craft tips. But I guess my day job is Dungeon Lord slash Lich King. You know, you gotta make a living. Or a dying. <laughs> oh. <Whew>. <laughs> I'm way funnier when I write. Not really an improv guy. Yeah. You should read my blog. 
always get comments with like four ha's. It was a long road from two ha's, but I persevered and got there. Uh, that is kind of depressing, <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad that he has a Pinterest board, a very successful one on the side. That's, that's very impressive. <laughs> I don't know. What's that music you are playing? That's an ambient dungeon track I picked up last week. It's super soothing to listen to. My anxiety acts up when I hear these sounds in real life. Performance anxiety, you know? Not even medication helps. But the wow. recorded version is relaxing. Funny how life works like that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, four hours is actually really good. I already got past three, unless it's free. You got past three, though? Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. You know who probably gets way past four because of the funniness? Because we have someone in here who is throwing the best jokes. No, I'm not talking about Pichu, although Pichu is also very funny. But I'm actually talking about Mephi here. Although I do not know which one of the two, like Mephi or your evil twin, Mephi. I, I don't know which one is the the funny one. I don't know, actually. That's a bit scary, coming to think of it. Either way, either way. Nail it. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Terrible smell. Oh, you don't like my scented candle? It's called death and despair i can't actually smell it but the thought of it being there gives me nostalgia for the golden years of dungeon keeping wow baby <laughs> blush it's always easy to be funny when you can make fun of people heartlessly my feet takes the cake easy probably right you're probably right. Although I do gotta say, my meanest time ever, I wasn't funny at all. I'm pretty sure I wasn't. I mean, no one ever laughed, so. <laughs> good point. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That is indeed a good point. Yes. No. Uh, we. Yeah, we need to hide from Peach now. If I murder you right now, will you drop any loot at all? The only loot you'll get is knowing you gave me sweet release from my painful existence. Oh, right. <laughs> How about that uh, lever, hey? Oh, oh my, that is painful. <laughs> Fair <I> mean. <laughs> See you, Lich King. It's Steve. So, wait, wait, wait a minute. You're not just gonna leave, right? <laughs> Cause that would be crazy. I mean, I just told you I have a messy divorce. You know, I, I, I don't have a, I don't have a hell of a lot of loot down here. And I mean, it, look around. I don't have any friends. I, I listen to ambient dungeon music, and and you're just gonna leave me down here? I mean, that sounds crazy to me. That just sounds crazy. I don't think that's right. Um, well, is this goodbye or? If you decided, based on what I just said, that you might stick around a little longer. Oh, so it is goodbye. Oh, well, in that case, I, uh... Well, I do feel like killing myself, but I guess that's not an option, so... Oh, oh boy. Here's looking forward to the, the rest of existence, I guess. <laughs> hey, good luck on your trip, your journey, whatever it is, you know? Hmm. I mean... You could try and lift the dungeon's curse and, and get me out of here. Does that sound good? Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? Maybe. Having a cool skeleton friend to join you on your your RPG-esque adventure. If Actually? That's what this is, I don't know what it is. Well, if you is let me talk. Is, it, that's not what this is. Yeah, well, so this isn't a team-based adventure you're on. Well, well yeah, you know, I mean, I'm just going to live down here forever then, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I have a, have a good trip. It was, it was nice to see a smiling face for once. Goodbye, hideous man. Oh, now you're being mean. All right. Oh, oh wow. 
Well, if you hadn't said that last word, calling me hideous, wow, wow. <laughs> That's the equivalent of three hearts. Way too many for that comment. Careful. <laughs> it is <deserve>. Steve just really feels lonely. I know, right? I like, I kind of, I pitied him a lot. Like, I felt sorry. I thought about maybe we do actually help him, you know? But then he called me hideous, or he called us hideous. He called Paradigm hideous. Like, dude, no wonder you're lonely. No wonder you're lonely, honestly. Yeah, uh, I think that's all here. But at least we have to check this out. Let's let's try. I'm so scared. Well, you're not actually. You're not doing anything. Really? Really? Oh, that's boring. I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. Bye, Steve. All right, can we pick it up though? I've never seen a root so long before. You must be thirsty. <laughs> All right. Is this an art piece commenting on how society is being slowly flushed away? Not really. That's just an actual toilet. Feel free to use it. Never mind Barishki over there. He likes to watch sometimes. She's right, you know. All right, okay. Hello, toilet. Well, can we use it? Pretty sure that guy over there winked at me. Uh. I'd like to use a toilet where I don't get winked at. Is this too much to ask? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. A little bit. I mean, don't be so picky. I'd make sure to bleach you every <laughs> night. <laughs> he has the best lines. I, I just can't. I just can't. Okay, Hamad, who are you? I believe this is a piece commenting on how construction workers are slowly morphing into their tools because of a curse which is cast when they were kicked out of the union. Never take away witches' rights for five weeks paid vacation. Hello? Hmm, yes, you are correct. I've always thought I could be a fashion model. I just didn't have the height. <coughs> Forerunner in humor fashion. <laughs> All right, wow. <laughs> I could use this performance to crush something, I guess. I've already crushed my dreams, but surely something else. All right. I bet you're made in Germany or something. I can see the quality from here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, made in Germany, probably. <laughs> All right, society is okay. Ugh. Yes. Yes, it's all right, huh? Except for that uh, weird mutation in Luxembourg where they managed to transcend human evolution, basically becoming demigods and threatening our entire existence. Other than that, pretty good. All uh, right, okay, yeah, sure. Hello, witty social commentary. I will use this to reevaluate my place in society then change literally nothing about my life. Yeah, yeah, what do we think where where Paradigm's place in society is? I'm sure it's pretty great. <laughs> yeah. I see that premium graffiti paint. None of that stolen hardware stuff. Stolen hardware stuff? All right, all right. It's a big empty room with a dude adjusting a Light the dimmer switch. It's not just adjusting the dimmer switch, you are clever. What is it then? By adjusting. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, wait, god damn it. I knew I should have worn some sort of dumb head thing. What? Talk to him. I really don't want to talk to light dimmer guy. Why? It's like throwing a hot dog in a glowing corridor. I never understood that insult. Why would I waste a perfectly good hot dog like that? It doesn't have an opening. Just like every other opportunity in my life. 
Oh. Okay. Well. What if... So we need a screwdriver. Well, technically, isn't our army knife that? Also, we still never use the laser pointer. Hmm. All right. Let's try that. A nice spoon is destined for greater things. But... I need a small flathead screwdriver. Where the fuck do I get a small flathead screwdriver then? A small flathead screwdriver. That's all I have. That is all I have. That is all I have. Why do I still have these things? The bobble hat? Wait a second, where... Where else can we go? What am I missing? Oh, that. Oh, okay. Maybe we... Maybe we shouldn't be here now. We were supposed to go somewhere else. But... How do we get there? I can't... I can't get off. wanted to take it up as a hobby but the whole making sure it doesn't die thing is is not something I'm good at I've always wanted to take it so I need wait I forgot what I'm supposed to do what what am I supposed to get down there go to the slot no I'm supposed to get the tree wait she was talking to me about that right Oh, I've got oh. all right she doesn't she doesn't maybe scientists do does well, tell me again lost weakness again uh, come on man you're giving me bad vibes all right so he's a genetically engineered sloth but they couldn't remove all his natural instincts which include wanting to do nothing all day and chilling on trees to trigger his instincts you need to get a huge tree in his room that's ridiculous. Let's be honest. There's all sorts of messed up stuff here. Anyway, you will also need to get inside his room, which has a locked door. But there is a doggy door, which is opened by the local cult leader's tag. You need to get this off him somehow. He should be back from his daily binge. That's about it. Oh. See you, man. Uh, fingers crossed you don't die in the next couple of hours. Thanks. However, I'm more worried about finding fashionable... Alright, but it wasn't this tree, right? That we can crow because this is Most plastic? Most trees are like the little people of the tree world. Alright, it's not that one. What about... what about this one? It's a plastic dying plant. I was not aware there was one. Alright, it's not that one. Let's... oh! Uh, go back to, let's try the church thingy, because we're not done, clearly not done there. We need to get the, the thing, the tag, right. And we need to find a flathead screwdriver somewhere on the way.
Yeah, that was perfect. That was, um, yeah, okay. All right, all right, dog. All right. Oh, wow. Stand by. <laughs> it's the Glam Metal Messiah. Hello, Glam Metal Messiah. Welcome, my son, to the Church of Latter day Glam. May your air be fabulous, your pants be tight. And your excess be excessive. Thank you. What is it you ask of me? Nice church. It is indeed a nice church. <laughs> it's very glam. Your hair is glorious. Can I touch it? Are you a groupie? I can be. I don't think so, dude. Damn it. So close to achieving pure bliss. Aww. Look at those cute little boots. I know you're trying to be demeaning, but yes, they are cute widow boots. Comfortable too. <laughs> How did you become the messiah of a glam metal cult? Well, I was one of the world's most famous wrestlers a while back. My stick was that I was a singer from a glam metal band. My oh. fame led to a life of excess, naturally. I did a lot of drugs. And acquired new diseases that people didn't even know existed. Nice. <laughs> I got to name a few. It was pretty cool. Anyway, long story short, I obliterated my body. And here comes this duper genetics guy. And he offers me a new one if I run his glam metal cult. Cool. Who'd you get more chicks if you're a cult leader? What he failed to tell me is they don't yet have the tech to grow me a new body. So they put me in a pog temporarily. Brutal. Honestly, now I'm considering going half pog, half human for my final form. Why? What is it like being a pug? Pretty good. Good apes are belly rubs. Can finally lick my own balls. Downside is that I need to chase things. Cats, tennis balls, all the stereotypical stuff. What about chasing hoop dreams? What is this, a 90s basketball movie? To be honest, I won't even be mad. Uh, do you practice what you preach? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've been awake for six months and have at least 50 illegitimate children being born next week. I... I... that sounds excessive? Yeah. Do you have a weakness? <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you seen how majestic I am? In dog form, I still retain my amazing air and tight pod. I get the bitches. Both kinds. Oh, uh, oh, alright. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. What was your wrestling name? Glorious Glam. The man with no plan. He wears a lot of cyan. His favorite pie is toucan. I'm guessing the only naming prerequisites were alliteration and rhyme. And rightly so. Is there any other way? I don't no. know. What I do know is that toucan pie is delicious. I know, right? Everyone hates it, but I adore it. Uh... 
I'm not not sure. Okay. Hey man, uh, can I borrow your necklace real quick? What? Why? Yeah, just to get rid of Olaf so he doesn't murder me. Dude, he's my primary source of income. How am I supposed to afford this life of excess if you kill him? You think all this sex and drugs grows on trees? How about if I just pick some sexual favors from the local birch tree? Well, Look a big redwood for my Wednesday LSD trip. Well, How about I tie a tree vine around my neck and hang from a tree while I mass... Actually, no. that's a pretty good idea. No. <laughs> anyway, no. No, you cannot. Oh, damn it. Okay, we need to challenge him. Or have a challenge you to a little bit of turn-based combat. Or to compete with me in a dog show with esteemed celebrity judges. Or a hair off. Well, I think turn best combat will be it. Because that's what he likes. So we will try the other answers. A hair off, for example. I think we could compete very well in a hair off. What if I challenge you to a hair off? You don't even have any hair. I didn't think this through. <laughs> What if I challenge you to compete with me in a dog show with esteemed celebrity judges? You're... you're not a dog. People tell me I'm a dog all the time. Oh no. Yo dog. What's up dog? No. What are you doing in my house, dog? I'm going to call the police, dog. Oh well. That's pretty sad. Alright. What if I challenge you to a little bit of Turn based combat for it. Hmm. Being a huge JRPG fan, I cannot refuse. What do I get if I win? I'll condition your hair every six hours. You know how to tickle my little dog nipples. Ugh. What's with everyone's obsession with nipples around here? Uh <laughs> Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Do we have items? No. Oh we do. <laughs> Alright, let's try and uh, and fight him. <laughs> what? <gasps> Let's try the other things. Let's try defense. Uh, are you sure you want to hit me? I've got an enemy body pillow that really worries about me back at home. What? Better try to appear as pathetic as possible. It was not effetic. effective. I do feel kind of bad for you. Why did you even challenge me to turn-based combat in the first place? Wait, he didn't do anything! Alright, what happens when we... boost? You are probably the most stylish code leaders I know. None of this white robe bullshit. Yeah, I know. Boosting compliment was super effective. Glam Metal Park's ego is already at maximum capacity. Ego maxed out. Ah. Ah. Ah, okay. Let's try to fight. Paradigm doesn't know how to attack. He wishes now he watched that self defense VHS he saw at the junkyard. He feels awkward and activates a gesture to hide behind the fact. You're making me feel bad now. <laughs> I'm strong style. How? <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> well, I have a, I have a feeling about something here. I have a feeling, but like, I don't think we. No. Okay. <laughs> No, I clicked it away because it was the wrong button. Quick time. Event. Uh, 
Uh. Uh. Alright, are you ready? Is everyone ready? <laughs> Let's click. In three, two, one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. This is, um. This is so sad. Wow. What a fight. What a fight. Oh, he's coming. He's running. <laughs> Dogs and lasers are funny. Turns out spending half my life procrastinating helped me out. Better go get that necklace or moping. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, okay, we got, we got the necklace, so we can enter the door, but we still need to get the tree. We still, we still need to get a tree. All right. And a flat screwdriver? Oh. Uh... Well... Where could we get a tree or a flat screw? Try the lobby. Let's see what is there. Like bobblehead. What are we doing with bobblehead? Because I can't. He probably won't go in there. Let's open some other way. Yeah. Okay. Well, what if I? What if I use that? No? I need to collect everything before I try going in. Otherwise, I risk painful dissection. Mm. Alright, so that's not an option. That is not an option. The bobblehead. What are we supposed to do with that? Why do we have that? Why do we have the bobblehead? I don't know. Okay. Let's just try going down again. No, I want to go to the lab actually. Let's check it out again.
I did. I did pull this lever, right? I feel like I'm going to regret this. Oh yeah, that already happened. That already well, happened, yeah. that was severely underwhelming. Yeah, now I know. Okay, go down. <laughs> I still can't. <laughs> what is this section? I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, ignore responsibilities, emotion storage. <laughs> but we can't do anything here. We can only go down. Or can we... No. We can't. Oh well. That was a secret thing. So how again? How again do we... It looks like this is the uh, only thing holding this up. I need a small flathead screwdriver. Oh, flathead. Is that why the bobblehead? How would we get the bobblehead to be flat? I feel Billy deserves more than this. Or at least a much more elaborate use of his head. I need to unscrew it first. Alright. I can't My do this. Destined for greater things. Billy? Why is he named Billy? Alright. He was done. Rubble. I read once that piles of rubble in your or was it a naked? There's not much I can do with it. The dirt is infertile and the rubble is useless. Wine rubble. The dude. The hose can't go down. You know, once I painted the bowl of fruit. I bet you're made. I, mm. I could use this performance to crush something. I guess. Alright, crush something. I've already crushed my. Do yeah. I feel Billy deserves more than this, or at least a much more elaborate use of his head. Nice spoon is destined for greater things. Wait, what else? Can you crush this? You're just mashing things together now, aren't you? I kind of am. I don't have so many things anymore, right? Because that's my only thing. What else do I have? I don't have any more items. Was there something up there that I missed? I don't think so. Because I can't pick up these things. Whatever that is in the center. No. All right. Well, I guess it's time. I know something else. I've never gotten my cupcake, so let's do that for now. And if we have the cupcake, who will... Who likes cupcakes? Who wants the cupcake down? Hmm. Okay, let's get the cupcake. It's probably part of the solution. Oh, 
let's go back to the office. All right, hello. Cupcake saves person. I would like to purchase I a cupcake. I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure, do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? Yes, actually, uh, this pig's membership card. Yes, believe in the coupon. Take your pick. My favorite is alkaline flavor. Oh, what a surprise. It is the cupcake. Chronic illness flavor. Screwdriver flavor. Or Cthulhu flavor. I'd actually rather take this one, but I don't think we can. I'll take this one. Excellent choice, sir. We can. <laughs> See, I'll peruse your cupcake selection later. This isn't a cupcake weather. Make sure to bring a coupon or cash. I'm not sure why I need this. Maybe I can summon Cthulhu. <laughs> oh no! We probably broke the game now. I changed my mind. Uh, can I get a different cupcake? Sure, take your pick. My favorite is alkaline flavor. But do I have to give away my other? I'll take this one. Good choice, sir. Aw, damn it! I changed my mind. Uh, can I get a different cupcake? Sure, take your pick. My favorite is alkaline flavor. Alright. I'll take this one. A fine choice, sir. Okay. So, I'll peruse your cupcake selection later. This isn't a cupcake library. Make sure to bring a coupon or cash. Well, I'm I can only sure change this it. This is the greatest flavor, but it's probably the most practical of the three. Yeah. All right, let's go. I don't know what's going to happen, but at least I have a plan. And back down. Still don't know how to get a tree. Because it doesn't let me pick up any one of these two trees. And I don't think I've seen another one. But we will get there for sure. This is still pretty hilarious. <laughs> All right. Now let's... As much as it is a big waste of a delicious cupcake, I think this screwdriver will be more handy. Yeah, what a surprise. A Phillips screwdriver. All right. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed that they're actually hitting the wall that hard. Nothing like risking brain damage for the sake of art. True, true. Okay. So now we got our flat screwdriver and now we can unscrew this. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, god damn. It was a cover for multiple screws. Deep, I know. It really isn't. Damn it. This flat screwdriver is too big for these smaller screws. If I was a magic user, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> what? Mini flat hat screws? And now I need to shrink it. Okay. I'll I'll try to shrink it. <laughs> 200 I can move sure. <laughs> okay, that is my 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 guess that we can shrink it. I'm not sure, but I yeah. Just a wild guess. Just a wild guess. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. It's a good head. That's me right now. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, let's try to shrink our screwdriver. Thank God magic does exist. Ah, thank God. Wow. It's like a baby screwdriver now. Oh, smart. So smart. Wow. All right. If I have to go up and down again, I I'm probably will go crazy at one point. But yeah. Let's try again. Let's see. And down the hatch. And this one. Yeah. All right. Now, tiny flat screwdriver. Do the magic. By destroying this performance art, do I become a part of the performance? Yes. Or is life just one big performance for interdimensional beings? Yes. We will never Maybe. know. <laughs> Unless you join a cult that claims otherwise. That's true. <gasps> Did I just murder someone? <laughs> That's a relief. I should have thought more about the consequences. I probably could have just asked nicely and got the soil that way, instead of risking manslaughter. Oh, oh, we want the soil. Oh, wow, I totally didn't get that until now. All right, Applehead. An apple a day keeps the lack of direction and students' loans away. I believe I kind of deserved it, so not gonna lie, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if are they dead or not. I don't think she would be too keen to help after that incident. Okay, she probably isn't dead. I don't need the extra vitamins. I mean, look at my skin. It's glowing. Mainly, but also due to... <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's, um... While a handful so... Okay, we... Need to pick it up. Thanks for the nutritious soil. Okay, and I guess now we just put it onto the tree. There is nothing more to do down here, right? I don't think so. I don't think there is. Bye, siblings, I guess. Let's see. Let's see if this works. If we put the soil onto the tree. I'm gonna make you so dirty. Uh, maybe not. I should probably save this for defeating Olaf. I've always wanted to take it up as a hobby. It's not something. We're not taking that? Wait, do I need a tree or does he have a tree? Bonsai trees are like the little people of the tree world. Okay, maybe he has a tree in there and we just need the soil? Because it's also not that one, right? Nah, I'd rather not. Rather Doug not. thinks that plastic plants are an insult to his species. Okay. But which species is he a part of? I always forget. Too bad it doesn't have real soil, an ingredient for growing Olaf's weakness. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's try, let's try. If we have everything. I don't actually know. I kind of didn't listen when they talked about it. So yeah. Let's just see. If we can enter now. 
Well, you go in. I need to collect everything before I try going in. Otherwise, I risk painful dissection. So we do need a tree. But it's not these, right? What's he doing? I'm not that into fern play. Ever since I got that rash. Alright. Okay. Well then, let's look for another tree. Don't really understand. Why? Wait, but did I try that? I'm gonna make you so dirty. Uh, maybe not. I should probably save this for defeating Olaf. Alright. <laughs> okay. Well, there was no tree at the head mart, right? There was no tree at the church. Maybe there was a tree at the offices. Or oh, I don't get why I can't use the bonsai tree in the lab. Weird. Weird, weird. Oh my god, the tree seeds! Of course. Wow. How can I forgot, forget this? But how do I get these? I've been wary of claim five. What about the boiling water, huh? I can't ever. Anyway. It would be nice to have another make a sick way girls be Oh, I know so. I need to use the keypad if I want it anyway. I don't think it's reachable like the ancient Swedish person. Okay. Coin? But I don't have a coin. could I put into the slot? Can I f do it? This is not a cute tiny screw. Sad. But also this didn't work. Knife spoon is destined for greater things. Well then I need money. But the only place to get money from... Oh, is the church. Oh. Oh. oh no. All right, let's um let's go there again. Ah, oh, this this elevator thing. It's it's fine. It's fine. All right, I really need the money. Get some money. It isn't morally wrong when you're trying to save the world. Exactly. Hey, don't touch that. That's for the homeless. And paying all the fines slash lawsuits we build up. Damn it. If it wasn't for you meddling retirees, I would have had it too. <laughs> you smell like the homeless. But oh. you seem to still have most of your teeth. Oh. No beard. Oh, what? Oh, God, no. I feel like I should be sneakier than this. Also, using a confession box to take donation money, I feel like my moral compass is getting worse the more I progress. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is what we need the hat for. Alright. <clears throat> Oh god. Oh, you poor soul. <clears throat> Take some donations immediately. Thank you. Thank you, finally. Finally. We uh we now have a Kruish coin. It's pretty cool. All right. I better take this off before I leave. Should you? Okay. Okay. Good. Now let's try again at the offices. Oh, <laughs> we only.
only took one coin though. Like, Paradigm is such a nice person that he only takes one coin, the one coin that he actually needs. He doesn't take more. Imagine if people were like that, right? It's pretty cool. Okay, we need six. And let's put that in. I can't get something else, right? What do you mean, error? Oh, come on. Damn. I always wanted to hear the blackest metal album ever. I always wondered what it would like to be on fire. Without the whole burning and agony thing. Not today, I guess. Oh, no. That's, that's a shame, really. Okay, we can't do that. Let's, well then, let's get the in instant tree. Turnips on my islands are 4 99 bells. It's currently listed on Turnip Exchange. So, busy tending public visitors? Oh. Alright, well, enjoy. That sounds like you're making some good money. Or bells, rather. Oh yeah, thanks for lurking. Okay, we got our tree this is exactly seed. Exactly what I need to get rid of all of. Put on the back it says I need some nutritious soil. We already have that. Okay. It's the instant tree. Oki bra. Botanical name: Bigus Asiostrea. <laughs> Vigorous growth. No black magic involved. Pure science. Lower chance of ripping apart the universe than our competitors. <laughs> <laughs> Just add soil and grow. All you need is the Wu Tangerine soil and you can instantly grow an instant tree anytime, anywhere. Wu Tangerine soil and nothing too expensive that you cannot use it with. Farmer Bar Tech's tip. Grow in a sunny well lit area to guarantee to keep the tree happy and content. Otherwise it will enact revenge on your family. Guarantee, if you are not completely satisfied, we will gladly ignore all your complaints. Generous, we know, but you, the customer, are always borderline insane. <laughs> Alright, that's the best seed package I've ever seen. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. Alright, it is finally time. To hopefully not die. All right, let's do this. Where is our door remote? Yeah, let's go. I better to talk to the rebel leader first. So I actually Are have you a plan. kidding me? Last time I didn't have a plan. I woke up with a retail job. Ugh, never again. Well. All right, and I was so happy. I was so happy. Right. Sure, sure. Let's let's go down again. And yeah. Right, rebel leader. Hello. I've got all the stuff to take down Olaf. Congratulations! Alright, so the master plan is... Uh... To be honest, I was just thinking about what I was going to eat for dinner. What? Hang on, the advisors tell me that they actually do have a plan. Are all you right, kidding me? So all you need to do is walk in there and plant the seeds. The advisors actually went in there earlier and made their mark on the carpet. They say that's probably the best place. If they went in there already, uh, why don't they just do it? Look, something something destiny. You've got to do it yourself. 
All you need to do is go to the lobby, get through the last hallway, and then you're at his lair. Then you take down Olaf. Dupa Genetics goes into liquidation, and none of this taking over the world stuff happens. Baxt will throw a shindig, we'll all be happy. Going to be some super dope cheese platters, by the way. Shit, how good is cheese? Anyway, good luck, Paradigm. You're our third hope out of four. You mean there's more of me? Not exactly. You're just our third plan. First plan was an internet petition. It <laughs> never worked. And yeah, we already had another mutated prodigy child come through here. Uh, we won't talk about that. Oh, God damn it! Time to never finish my electronic music album and continue procrastinating. I, I mean, uh, save the world from one genre of music and entertainment. Well, that's reassuring that we're already the third plan, the third plan, the second Dupa Prodigy Child. That's reassuring, okay. Right, so now, finally, because the rebel leader said we're just supposed to go in and do our thing. So let's do it, finally. Probably. Hopefully. Alright. Good. Oh. Great. Fantastic. Couldn't have opened the regular door. Now I'll have to find some oil and wear it on my naked body to squeeze through. Nudity is allowed. However, oil is where Duper Genetics draws the line. The punishment is remedial massage till death. Damn you and your conservative ways. Uh, I'll have to find another way. How about we just become small again? And go in now? Please tell me that's working. Right? I don't want to see a nude paradigm, to be honest. Please. Oh, thank God. Uh, wait a second. Where am I? Oh. Shrink. Then guard the imbecilius. You can't see him, but he's like right here he's right here all right that looks good that looks good it's a shoe a shoe just appeared all right that's the maintenance what Is this happening? Right? Sloth head? Wait, where? What's the mark? Is this supposed to be the mark? Probably. All right, uh, but like I really have to, I mean, there's nothing else here. Or is it the shoe? What? Why even did the shoe come out of here? Oh, I don't get it. Okay. Thank you for completing the full version of Paradigm the Game. We hope you had a great time and you had a lot of fun. What? If you would like to continue playing Paradigm DLC, we need more money. The Kickstarter was not enough. Please input your credit card number when the time prompts. Unlike the full version, the DLC is pay to point and click. Please purchase the 20,000 clicks now for the low price of $29.99. Otherwise, feel free to play our ad free to play version. Oh no. All you need no. to do is press the ad viewer button 10,000 times. No. Oh. Thank you very much, brother. Oh man. I oh, got a credit card on me. However, no. what I do know is elaborate credit card antivirus scams. All I need is a phone and a number. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh. Hey man, uh, wanna let me through cheap on the download? This is a business paradigm. Next you'll be asking for complete games with in-game purchases. You crazy. <laughs> Can you give me some puzzle hits? Give me your credit card number and I'll tell you. No! Uh, you sly sloth. I know what you're up to. Next yeah. you'll be asking for my passport. Next thing you know, I'll have a finance deal for a pony farm back in yeah. Texas. Yeah. You scammers are all the same. Yeah. Show him, Paradigm. Show him. What is this place? Hey, man, I only get paid to deliver that first speech about the credit card thing. This is all pro bono. Just get me that credit card number, you broke-ass bitch. Hey, I'm not an ass bitch. I'm mostly just broke. <sighs> I'm going to go scam that uh, credit card number for you now. Yeah, whatever. Just get me the money. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We meet again. Oh, that? <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. My power core excretes it from time to time. It's a super strong solvent. I sometimes sell it online for a hefty sum. It's like soap for robots. But it what? comes out of my butt. Hello, glowing transparent wall. What if I said you were... Pretty cool guy. Would you let me in? Hey, it worked. <laughs> I manipulated your emotions for my personal gain. God damn it. <laughs> I was just what? <laughs> All right. All right. Mm, I feel the pain of a thousand suns. You blocked my crosswalk, but will you block my sweet dog? No innuendos here. I'm a nice guy. Please, please respond. Please. Uh. Okay, what happens? What happens when we press the button? Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is so Like I'm I'm kind of I'd be so curious what happens when you actually press it ten thousand times. That'd be so insane. But I don't wanna do that. Oh shit, that would take me that would take me so long, right? It does it does do it what is that? Poop? What? Why is there... Alright. Alright. Nipple growth pill. Alright. Unhappy with your viola size. <laughs> oh, these ads are very good. Okay, show me, show me the poop again. Where does the poop come out? I didn't notice. What? It just appeared? Uh, hello? You are not permitted to be here. What the hell is happening? No one is. Not even me. Well, I am actually, but I wanted to drive the point home. Anyway, leave. Otherwise, I will be forced to awkwardly linger till you leave. What a threat. This smells delightful. Brings back memories of all those beautiful nights with my dear friend, Vodka. <laughs> Poop? Come on. Hello, delicious alcohol-based poop. No! Come back! No! Go away, heater! I could use the fumes to go on a spiritual journey to figure out what to do, but I could probably do something more constructive. I'm not sure. It will melt through my gloves. 
These gloves are Gukovsky. Gucci's Eastern European cousin. I no. need to use it with something else. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, what's up with the shoe? John 3000 told me back in Australia people chuck beer from shoes. It wasn't even a punishment. It was a rite of passage. And they say, Crucial tradition of bathing in vodka is weird. Yeah, alright. Hello, I'm here for you. I've got two shoes. I'm not from Australia. And thus, no shoe beer chugging. Damn. Hopefully some beer turns up. Get my chug on. Oh! Oh, nice. Okay, we picked up the shoe. That's great. What about the wrench? I relate to your wrench. Me and you share a lot of things, like being constantly called a tool. Oh. Not we have emotional shields of rust-proof enamel. Oh. What is the robot actually leaving the poop? Oh no! All right, I didn't want to talk to that thing. Who are you? I am the keeper of the prodigy children. Originally a water heater, but that time is long gone. I now have wheels. Three inch rims, baby. Uh, are you sentient water like the rest of the robots? Yes. Originally I was a water heater. It was a pretty good gig. There's nothing like making people hot and wet. And I was damn good at it. But then Dupa Genetics needed more workers. Too many work accidents, you know? Anyway, it's not too bad being the keeper. I'm a pretty chill person. Funny, considering I'm a heater. Anyway, you should leave. Uh, oh my god. Why does the shower get cold when someone flushes the toilet? My people have been searching for an answer to that question for many years. To no avail. No. We are yet to be able to operate internet searching systems. No. Aww. Do you have a kind of sibling rivalry with the water cooler? No, actually, we were quite good friends, but I heard that some monster drank him to death. The same guy convinced another comrade to commit suicide. Such a terrible world we live in. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, you should leave. Oh my. Oh my. What is this place? It's basically where we grow and store all the prodigy children we have. What do you do here? Me? I tend to the broken equipment and general maintenance. I'm pretty bad at it, on account of having no arms. The main reason I'm here is to send out oh, the well. shop orders. They rigged up a button I can just roll on. It's effort. Oh. I'm basically a baby maker. Do cool. you even know how babies are made? Yeah! When 100 people love each other very much, 100 being the upper limit, they mash together their DNA and pay at least half a million dollars for genetic sequencing. Why would you even ask me that question? Uh, no idea. Right. Did you ever want to do anything else? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just wanted to be a part of a family. I sent kids to their parents almost daily through that shoot. Sometimes I wish I was one of them. But who wants a half-ton child? No one. Aww. Aww. Chin up. <laughs> Or uh, uh, dials up, whatever. Though, honestly, just follow your dreams. No. Mm, yeah. At least I still have a job to do. Okay. Okay. I thought this was already us murdering Can her. Can I ask you something else? Okay. How do you feel about the Dupa Genetics plan? Lukewarm, frankly. I like neither wrestling nor glam metal. However, I heard that their education policies are some of the greatest ever made. Okay, alright. Well, there's only one question left, the most important one. How do I murder you like the rest of the henchmen? Well, you see, you just... Uh, hey, wait a minute. What? You should leave! 
Okay. Laters. Okay, don't come back now. All right, all right, okay. Hello, you big tool. Can you just move? Please, can you stop following me? Wrenches can be used to repair, but also as a low-level melee weapon. Indeed. So pick it up. Yes. No. I don't even. I Damn guess it. it's payback for all those times I glued money to the floor at shopping centers and left. Wow, that is such an evil prank. <gasps> Imagine? I could probably use her to sew puzzles in bulk. Ooh, you get me so hot and bothered. Mainly because your kin always make the water too hot. If I didn't want you to leave right now, I would say sorry. Alright, alright, okay. Okay, oh, there's so much left. Alright, let's start. Oh, those are incubators. Is he looking at us? Oh yeah, he's following us with his eyes. That's really great. Okay. Fine. Whoa. These are all like my brothers and sisters. My heart is feeling all warm and fuzzy. Partly because I can claim some more government payouts. But yeah, the uh, other feely stuff too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, bros and sisters. I could go the evil route and claim them as my own after I defeat the slot. No. Paradigm Supreme Leader. Oh god. Oh, probably better than the sloth, right? I also want to pick up all my brothers and sisters. Give them bulk hugs and kisses, Christmas Aww. dinners, obligatory Aww. family gatherings they don't want to go to. Great. Alright. I feel there is a more economical way to move these prodigy chat boxes. You know, other than violently sucking them up a vent. That is true. Like, how do you even... How does this even work? Do they get down here? Are they sucked out into the wall? Oh, it's weird. Hello, violently sucking vent. <laughs> Personally, I would like to avoid the violently sucking vent. Why? My self-esteem might be low. But I still haven't tried all the cereals on offer yet. Aww. Uh, Are boxes the only thing you suck? Oh, come on. Could you possibly vacuum? <laughs> my home is filthy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a sliding panel. Hello, sliding panel. Oh, yeah, slidey. <gasps> Oh, gears, okay. I think it's the gears connected to the conveyor belt. Haha! Hello, gears asking for destruction. Would be a real shame if someone ate a wrench inside your works. Wait, that's not how that goes. <laughs> gears are for queers. And for everyone else, equally, too. I just wanted to drop a rhyme. Wait, what do we have in our inventory right now? Okay, we still have the mini flat screwdriver. We need the soil and the tree. We still have the bobblehead. And we have a fly shoe. It's not weird at all. Oh, hi <laughs> Oh, hello, Ben. Is it already... Why the fuck are you awake? <laughs> Oh, hi, yo! <laughs> I think yeah. these are recording the prodigy child growth patterns. One of them is growing into a shark boy. Ew. Some people really take their street shark cartoon nostalgia too far. Uh, is it is it good morning? Good evening? Good night? It's good morning. Hello, computer. All right. Seems like most of the children are doing fine. Most? Except for child 729. No. She has four arms, instead of the three ordered. Uh, oh well. I am sure John has already hit that. Oh. Oh, come on. All right. There is the maintenance hut 
emergency phone. All right, all right, all right. We have a towel for a quilt, so I couldn't sleep too long. That sounds horrible, actually. Actually. <laughs> Wait, and you have to, don't you, didn't you say until Friday? How will you, how are you planning on surviving until then? I, I couldn't even, I don't know. I'm glad to see that they bothered to set up maintenance. Even if it is a talking water heater with no way of repairing anything. Who's making these decisions? Oh, all right. It's miserable. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder. That's. I don't know. Is there? Couldn't why? Couldn't you like at least keep a tiny pillow or something? Hello, maintenance. Well, uh, the maintenance person is currently staring at me. I'm using it to its full potential. All right. How about you and me maintain a sensual relationship? <laughs> I guess it's there for emergencies. The various crudely drawn six hotline numbers scratch into the side say otherwise. No, Bob. I am not looking for a good time. All right. Hello, conveniently placed telephone. Conveniently placed. I've got an emergency. An emergency in my pants. Mostly from not using protection during non-sexual contact sports. You do have a pillow. All right, a pillow and a towel. But like, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that just doesn't seem enough. Okay, well then, how about, I, I don't know. Keep a small blanket, get a small blanket, at least to, to, like, have a little bit more comfort, like, lying on it. I can't do the credit card scam while they are watching me. That stern look is uh, making me feel self-conscious. Alright, so we need to get rid of the heater. Oh, that's... Oh, the sucking wind goes through here. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. That all sounds pretty, pretty horrible. Right. So we need to get the... Get the wrench off the floor. It's glued to the... Don't eat. I guess it's pay. I... Wrenches can be used to... But I'll... Right? Can we, like, scrape it off or something? Knife spoon is... Not with that. And also not with that thing, right? Ugh. This is not a cute... Oh. Oh. This is not a cute tiny screw. Oh, okay. Only cute tiny screws. Right. Sure. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Or can I... Does this have cute tiny screws? This is not a cute tiny screw. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And that also doesn't work. Nice spoon is... Oh, why is it always destined for greater things? Ah! <laughs> what am I going to do with the fly shoe? Is that... Do an alcohol chug with this. Oh... Thought that shoes were such great liquid holders. What is it now? A shoe full of solvent. All right, so we can. What? What did he say? Did he just use that? It's glued to the floor. I don't even. 
I guess it's payback for all those times. I ah, I don't, I don't. Why did it not work? Okay, let's try that again. We were for carefully try oh, not to. Those were such great liquid orders. Double click. Let's try this again. It's burning away the glue. Yeah, boy. Oh, now it works. Okay. All right. So now we got the wrench. Let's uh, try throwing it into the gears. I am the destroyer of the gears. If only I existed in a steampunk world. I'd break shit up. Now just to turn the machine on. All right, turn the machine on by standing on that thing. Are you not following me anymore? Are you serious? You followed me the whole fucking time and now you don't? Follow me, goddammit! No! Oh, wow! <laughs> wow. I really hope the family receiving them will mistake them for a prodigy child. They were a pretty nice person overall. Well, yeah. Sometime later. Oh, wow. Water heater, dinner's ready. Oh. Wow. Uh, uh okay. All right, can we use the phone now? Let's do this morally questionable thing. I just need the phone number first, though. All right, but mm, that button, like, ugh. I don't know. Should we like? Oh, I can't do any other click than with actually with my mouse. So that's pretty sucky. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I kind of, I, I really want to know what it does. When I press this 10,000 times, but I don't want to pr press it 10,000 times. Look, look at that. Imagine how long it would take me. Oh, uh, well, I guess someone has surely done that. So I'll just look it up. Yeah. <laughs> let's, um, let's call her. I'm glad I kept that glam metal nun's number. We all, all are. Right. Let's do this. Scamming time. Yeah. Oh god, I feel so terrible. Yeah. Oh, lesser evil. Mm. Hello, Agnes. My name is Brian Smith, and I am from Krush National Antivirus and I- Oh, you need my credit card number. I'll give you my credit card number. But, miss, don't you want to hear what I need it for? Nah, that's quite all right, young man. You sound very nice. Here it is. 512331512231211. Bye. Well, that was uncomfortably <laughs> easy with a sprinkling of ethical issues. Oh, come on. This is making me feel worse. Level up. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. 
What is happening? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, let's see. We actually did have some dropped frames. So I guess that our internet is not perfectly fine. It was, it's not too bad, but it's not anymore also. It looks like at some point it has been bad for a while, for a short while. By the way, I've upped the quality again, a bit like I've upped it to 3000. A uh, bit rate, not like, um, not yet to 6000 again, but uh, we will get there. We'll get there hopefully, eventually, who knows? Who knows? But yeah. Hey, big sloth head dude. My credit card is 5123315122311. Congratulations. You just purchased 400,000 clicks. Account balance now minus 12 million dollars. Oh. You will be in debt for approximately 10,000 years. Oh man. I feel even worse. I guess she doesn't have much longer left. Especially within that messed up church. Door yeah. unlocked. Really? <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's enter the sloth head. That looks good. Probably the worst host I've ever encountered. Didn't even clean up his place. What a mess. No welcoming snacksies. I'm going to write the worst review online. People will think twice before saving the world here. Might as well go look around while I wait. What? <laughs> Mouse generator? Alright, we have a chunder can by Kupels, whatever that is. I never knew Kupels made chunder. For those days, you just don't want to vomit. Keep one in the cupboard handy. This one's a bit beat up, though. Huh? Hello, can full of chunder. That doesn't sound good. No idea what's going on, but I find food and a calm moment. Mmm. Well, hello, first off. And also thanks for the nice host, as usual. And congrats on a calm moment. <laughs> I got I got food without any work today. So um some show some mod love to Speevy here who who actually went and brought me uh some nice vegan burger. Right? That was pretty pretty cool actually. Pretty good. Uh Yeah. It's a good burger. Good mod. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Uh-huh. I need to open it up first. I we used need to carry on oh. the can opener in my pocket religiously. Until the... accident. Those two months of recovery took a lot of self-control. Uh... Uh... Doesn't Speedy always make the food? <laughs> Not... Always, always, but yeah, sometimes actually. But no, we are, I know we're, we're pretty much exaggerating on that. And yes, sometimes, or it happens, but it makes the food alone. But I've also, also made them food alone myself, right? So it's not like I never do that. <laughs> And basically, we always make it together. That's actually the case. At least be in the kitchen together, right? It's chaos here. Went to driving school without having eaten. Oh, the dishwasher's, dishwasher's broken. Oh, that, that sucks. That's very annoying. Wow. Ugh. You know what's even worse than cooking? Washing dishes. Ugh. Well, cleaning in general, so, yeah. Yeet! <laughs> this is no time for picking up the daily shopping for Chunder. 
Oh, oh my god. I didn't... I didn't notice that thing here. Alright. Catch it. Cool. Yeah, cool. But... Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know how much you've... Well, you've missed everything, basically. I don't know. You'll probably rewatch it anyways, right? So... But yeah, we got off the space station. We saw some siblings. We killed one of our siblings. No, we actually didn't kill her. We actually didn't kill her. Yeah. <laughs> but we almost killed her. Yeah. And... We met the third of the sentient water thingies. And we actually didn't kill them. Not like the first two, you know? But yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, potato. Hey, it's one of those potato batteries. They ban these in Krush. Using potatoes for anything other than food and vodka is a <laughs> serious offense. Given that, yeah. Yeah, that that sure no no reference or anything. Yes, I saw them. All right, Hello, all right. Hello, ingredient. Hello, paradigm. Uh. Okay. Okay. I better not mess up anything just yet. Who knows what crazy shit Olaf has in store for me? <laughs> Yeah, 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 um, she just talked, yeah. Mm -hmm. I better not mess up anything just yet. Who knows what crazy shit Olaf has in store for me. Alright, alright, not messing with her yet, okay. I think this is what the telepathic cats meant when they said they left a mark. I guess that's what oh. happens when you don't have any opposable thumbs. Oh. At least it is good for the soil. That's the mark. Okay, cat shit is the mark. No unnecessary cat markings. All right, all right. Uh, we're picking it up. I worked as a poop picker upper for a while. The texture reminded me of insert movie slash game franchise or director that you hate. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on on the left? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is going on. Nothing is going on anywhere. Like, there is nothing happening, right? Oh, we can't. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. Let's, um, well, let's talk to the mouse generator, I guess. It's poop. <laughs> oh, jeez. That mouse is super jacked. Do you need any lifting tips, bra? Uh, sure. Hello, totally jacked mouse. Are you not talking to us? Okay. That mouse looks like it's ready to wreck shit up. Look at those biceps. Pretty sure he is not keen. Pretty sure that mouse can beat the <laughs> shit out of me. Not picking up for me. Oh my god, this game. Okay, there's security monitors. And all that kind of stuff. Wait, what's that? A CD? Okay. And a frame. Okay, what's up with that? He really did love that Klaus guy. Class mix. Class, I think you are the coolest. So I made this mix city for you. It's full of disco hits I know you love. Also a bit of glam metal. I know you're not a huge fan, but I love it. Anyway, since you're my dad technically, I want to go play some catch. <laughs> Maybe something closer to your Swedish customs? Do you have a meal at IKEA? Some wrapping and pillaging? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> all 
All right. Halo with mix CD. Whatever Klaus mix is. You really did love that Klaus guy. Well, I don't want to look at it. I want to... Can we at least... Yeah, he already up? wants to kill me. Probably be extra mad if I messed with his mix CD. Oh, oh, oh all right, fine. Fine. Mr. You. Oh, nice. It's a head sculpture of Mr. You. In 2021, they tried to reboot the A-Team again. The real Mr. T cost too much, so they just cloned him. Oh, God. Hello, Mr. You head sculpture. Okay. I salute you, Mr. You. I definitely want to steal this once this is all over. Okay, I'll try, try to remember. I'll try to remember. What is... Frame of class and a frame. All right. What the hell? Oh wow. Um, question. I have questions. I. I have questions. Yeah. That is... That is absolutely baby paradigm. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, alright, okay. Hello, weird family photo. What the hell? <laughs> it's just, what the hell? I, uh, I'm Come. not sure I want to. Yes. Yes! I, uh, I'm not sure I want to. I think this is Klaus. Not going to lie, that stash alone makes me wish I could meet him. The whole making me thing is secondary. Well, what the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, it does look, Hello, yeah. painting of my biological father. Mm -hmm. I think this would look pretty good at my crib. Would probably creep out any girls who come over. Good thing they never do come over. Can we steal I'm it? I'm going to have a field day on Nibeski once this is all over. Oh, we can't steal it. Oh, damn it. All right. Part of me really wants to put my tongue on it. It took <laughs> me three weeks to stop licking a 9 volt battery last time. I better not. <laughs> Hello, big battery. I better not mess up anything just yet. Who knows what crazy shit Olaf has in store for me? All right, all right. I bet. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. But we let's let's look at the security monitors, and then we can do the thing, right? It's a security camera terminal of. Holy shit! I'm ridded out. Why? What? And that is why you should respect humans. They're not brutally murder them. Even in light of injustices they have brought upon our people. Uh, uh anyone remembers that? Person here? Why are they why has he where where did all the cones come from? Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. It's the con man trademark, yeah. Con man trademark. He's uh he's not even mad that his wife is headless now. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at the others, right? Yeah. You better apologize for that. Right. <gasps> is he dead? He's not alive anymore, right? Wait, what was that? Oh, he's still he's still switching to TV. He's alive then. He's he's fine. He's um he's fine for now, okay? 
covered in the sugar. Uh, space dust. Space dust. Yeah. That is space dust. And if you don't know what space dust is, then just forget it now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's check the next camera. The drug dealer, what's he doing? What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing's going on here. Or is there? I don't think any anything's come going on here. No. Alright. Dogs just look at Rochelle 31030123. Big frag. I've never felt so turned on before. Most of the time I'm on power save. This is great, but so inefficient. I'm so conflicted as a server. Uh oh. What is John doing in our absence? They have a... a water heater. A stove? A toaster? A blender? What are they doing? Party! Yeah. Damn right, that's a party. Alright. John turned my home into a robot brothel. <laughs> um, oh, damn it. Um, also, a more pressing matter. Why are there cameras everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, how long have they been there? I have to find the tapes and burn them. <laughs> Mankind should not be subject to my shameful personal rituals. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, hey, man. Heard you want to murder me. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> You're looking perplexed, Paradigm. Many questions must be running through your mind. It's time. Things are happening. Are there cameras everywhere in Krush? If my life is a reality TV show, I hope to be paid handsomely. No, no. Krush is not a reality television show. Although, in hindsight, I feel kinda dumb for not doing that. <laughs> if I didn't need to dissect you, I'd probably put you on the creative team for Duper Genetics. Anyway. Whoa! Krush was a town created to observe and research failed prodigy children. Space Cadet, the Drug Dealer, the uh. home, they are all horrible, magnificent failures of the Prodigy Child Program. They're all our siblings. But you, Paradigm, you were special. You were not a reject. In fact, you were the end game of the Prodigy Child Program. What? Glass's golden child. The world's salvation. <laughs> okay, which answer? Uh, hmm, or hmm. I go with uh. uh. Don't you see I'm monologuing here? I've been writing this for days. I even had everyone from the facility proofread it. I put a lot of work into it. Please listen. Anyway. Money and power never mattered to class. He oh. wanted to make the world a better place. He wanted to create the perfect human. The perfect human being to lead us to a utopian society. That is why he made you paradigm. Oh my god. <laughs> he truly believed mankind's greatest trait was empathy. And that the perfect human being needed to experience dire circumstances 
to evolve into that. There is only so much genetic programming can do to shape one's soul. Lame. As you can gather, this is why you are truly hideous, Paradigm. Shocking. Terrifying. Vomit-inducing. Makes me want to dig out my eyeballs. Douse my head in acid. What? If you had a mother, she would probably sell you for a pack of ciggies. Why is he so mean? <sighs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will send me spiraling into a deep depression. It's you so sad. Glass's obsession, Paradigm. He nearly drove the company into the ground, constructing you. What about me? What about poor old Olaf? I exist solely to vomit out candy bars. What kind of life is this? I loved class more than you ever could have. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> yeah. oh. When he died, I knew it wasn't from diabetes following his severe candy addiction. It was the stress from making you. No. After he went, I had nothing left. Liar. So I did the only thing I could carried on my father's dream of the perfect world. He's lying. I tried to remove you from all of this. I tried to kill you. But I just couldn't. And now, ironically, you will fulfill his ultimate plan. I will what? Eventually achieving class's dream. No. Oh, did expire change your mind? That's so kill him, let him finish his EP. <laughs> can I find a speech online so I can take notes later? I have to go with it. So. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Um, I need to kill this awfully cool moment and just, just really importantly, uh, check something. <laughs> I just, I just, this is, this can't wait. You, you, you will maybe understand. Uh, no, okay. Damn it. Damn it. All right, that was a fail. Okay. Oh, such a shame, such a shame. Well then. All right. Uh. What? What are you thinking? What? Ah yes, I know the next part. You changed your mind and were like... <laughs> Paradigm is a super cool guy. Let's not kill him and let him finish his EP. I swear to God, Paradigm, if you try to interrupt me again. I did not try to look up the speech. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Um. I um uh well I can't I can't just shut up. He's being he's being weird. Do it. Say what something I hear about my beatboxing eggplant? Ah, enough! <laughs> I guess that threat was pretty empty. 
I still want to finish my monologue before I kill you. Because father adored you so much, I continued observing you for many years. I tried to figure out why Klaas thought you would be so great. Maybe even try and be more like you. Your existence disgusted me. But in spite of everything, there was one thing I wanted to take away from you. Even after your death. What? I will become the greatest electronic musician the world has ever seen. No. Not you. No. And in honor of class, I will kill you to the sweet sound of disco synth and lasers. Wow. Time to do the murder boogie. Wow. W wait, uh, hold up. Before you kill me, can I ask some questions? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. It's no, no, you're not. Well, <laughs> What's up with you, you glam metal? Too early. The thing is, Class didn't even like glam metal. I tried to get him to listen multiple times, but he never took to it. Always talking about electronic disco music. God damn disco. <laughs> anyway, I needed to pick a genre to control the masses. And I didn't know anything else. All right. I was hoping there would be a deeper meaning to it than that. Yeah. How about glam metal represents the hyperbole and excess in our modern lives. A way to look at ourselves and see from another perspective where we are headed as a collective race. See, yeah. not that hard to strain a narrative out of your actions. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right, all right. Why are you constantly vomiting out candy? Father only made me for one purpose. To be a living candy machine. The only reason he imbued the candy-making gene in me was because I was what was left lying around after some laboratory tests. Hence the reason he constantly calls me trash. Well... I think... It was Pichu who found it funny. How I'm saying laboratory. So it's really a shame that Pichu's not here to hear that. That is really sad. Yes, that's... That's really sad, but not really a reason to hate us and kill us, right? Like, stay on track here, stay on track. Like, we have to survive, you know? If that is sad or not. Are you sure you want to kill me? Klaus probably loved you, but he was just too manly to say it. No. No. He told me multiple times that I was trash to him. He even made me sit and watch a three-hour PowerPoint uh, presentation about oh. why I'm worthless and I'm only good for making candy. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that is... that is mean. That is really mean. Just had an Elden Ring lore discussion on Discord. Game is very... <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, my Discord? <laughs> What is wrong with you? Are you serious? Who is... Oh. Oh. Alright. Good. Alright. Okay. Band Discord. It's fine. That's fine. I see. I see. Oh god. Okay. Fine. I was just like, if you keep on doing this. <laughs> just joking. Peaks from Lurkland. What? I'm hearing everything, but not paying full attention. 
Is it too late to hear them say laboratory again? Yes. You have missed that. You've missed that. Forever. There's not a single way to ever recover that. So yeah. If only you had been here. <laughs> Me guilt tripping people into being here active 100% of the time. I'm doing a good job, right? I'm doing a good job with that. Why did he say it your way? Yes. Yes, that's the whole point. Like, what, why else would I care? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did. The, the sloth. Laboratory. Yeah. <laughs> why didn't you stop me earlier? To be honest, I started binge watching a TV show. Suddenly... It was three seasons later. I mean, I had so much to do. But what? it was so good. Vomiting yeah, candy? Ooh, I can relate. Uh, what was it? Man-eating mutant finds multiple wives for eternal servitude. Aww. He just ends up eating them. Aww. I feel bad for him. What? Yeah, exactly. Not the laboratory. <laughs> Sloth doesn't sound like English is their first language. How rude. How rude. He sounds more English first languagey than many others. Right? Your face is rude. Your face is a face that is rude. So I noticed that your facility leaks radioactive liquid. <laughs> Mine too. We have so much in common. Yay! Oh, oh. <laughs> just making some small talk, you know, uh, get the words flowing. Did you uh, see me do that thing? That thing I do alone when I think no one is watching? Yes. I didn't even know that was possible. Or that people can even stoop that low. I was sick for weeks. Don't knock it till you try it. What? Correct. <laughs> sure, but you're just... You're just um, in a laboratory. That's the thing. Enough. Uh, let's get this over with. By the way, Paradigm, you acquired 243 shit guy points. Why? And thus triggered the evil ending. No. To rectify this, you must scour all night long through fan-made wikis and read up on the most obscure forums to get every single ending possible. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Just messing with you. Life is just a linear experience in which you are in no control of any of your actions. No free choice. Just an endless, infinite cycle in which you are doomed to repeat all your mistakes. <laughs> uh. Anyway, here is a bunch of endings you can choose. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Le what? Laboratory? Laboratory? <laughs> Laboratory? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Sloth and I are correct. I'll tell you, Sloth and I are correct. And nothing will change my mind. Okay, um... Alright, uh... This is... <laughs> alright, which, which ending? Do we want the fan ending? The gonna be alright? The... Leopard print? Or it was all a dream? 
Who knows? I'll look into it later. But perhaps laboratories, the British English pronunciation could be. I don't actually know, honestly. I don't know. Let's, um. Let's, uh. Oh, let's go with the fan ending. Hello, this is Dark Mutant Lover 31, and this is my original story for what I think how Paradigm should end. Please don't steal, it's copyrighted, okay? Don't mess with me. Seriously. I'm gonna start now. Paradigm burst into the room with a face of pure anger. In the back of the room, a lone hovering chair appeared with its back facing him. He knew it was Olaf. Paradigm was prepared for ultimate battle and reached over to touch Olaf's shoulder. You are the worst, Olaf! Prepare to die! Paradigm oh, kicked over a chair to show he meant business. But crying was the only reply he could hear. What, what the is wrong, Olaf? Why are you crying? I'm sorry, Paradigm, Olaf said with tears rolling down into his hairy sloth chest. He then span his chair around. Paradigm, I, I know this might not be the right time, but I like you. I like... like you. Paradigm stood there astonished, and he felt a warm sensation tingle in his tumor he never felt before. No. I, I didn't know you felt that way. Why no. did you try to kill me? Oh, I'm just awkward like that. <laughs> I'm misunderstood nice guy. I have trouble showing my emoticons, but if you get to know me, you will find out how smart and funny I am. Really. But you must know... I can't hold it any longer. I'm pregnant with Doug's son, Olaf Who? admitted. Doug what? burst through the door. You betrayed me, Doug. I thought you did not have reproductive organs. There is a lot about me you don't know, Paradigm. Oh my god. Doug then started to morph into his true form. Oh my Paradigm god. Paradigm then began to have more confusing feelings for Doug he never thought of before. <laughs> Doug, I think I actually love you, Paradigm said without realizing. Doug, Olaf, and Paradigm, then... Please, uh, please stop it. Uh, please stop it. Thank you. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <sighs> that was... That was a very proper fan ending, right? I mean... If you imagine a fan ending, this would be it. Perfect. Yeah, the other endings can't be better. That's true. Like, nothing can top this, right? The next visitor is taking forever, so that's why I can't be active in chat. It's okay, Pichu. It's okay. We still appreciate you. I was just mocking you a little bit because of the lab Labrador E. <laughs> so, both. Both versions are okay. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Sure. Let's let's go with the order, right? Gonna be all right. There you have it. I was inches away from death. I didn't know it at the time, but everything was gonna turn out all right in the end. Me and Olaf would put our differences aside, and we would become good friends. I found the love of my life in Ivanka. And Doug was my best man at the wedding. Uh, Life was really starting to pan out. And to my surprise, I developed a North American accent. Uh, Funny how life works like that sometimes. Yeah. However, just by figuring out how to speak to you in the past, I inevitably doomed this timeline to total destruction. I already feel the laws of physics changing and my eyeballs being pulled out. Neat. Ah! Ah! Classic 2000s movie ending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh my god, that's so bad. Like the worst endings of the trashiest trash movies. The North American accent. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, alright. Um, uh, I have. Okay, the glam metal thingy. Let's 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 see. How about we actually team up and do this glam metal and wrestling thing together, like brothers? Well, uh, I was looking forward to killing you, 
I guess that is the more practical idea. Sure, let's team up. We interrupt your viewing of How to Live Faster and Die Younger with Glam Metal with your compulsory hourly viewing of Do You Really Know? Supreme Glam Leader Paradigm. If not, oh. please make your way to the Glamification Center for Light Torture. Supreme Glam Leader Paradigm dedicated his life of extreme excess to the Church of Latter-day Glam in 2026, in which he immediately became the glorious Supreme Glam Leader. Here. His famous physique you see today is the product of his very own vodka emergence therapy, available oh to rent now at all good health club stores. Wow! Cool to know. <laughs> Upon his appointment of Supreme Glam Leader, he immediately romanced uh, all the world's leaders and gained autonomous reign of the whole world and its people. Uh, he then, in all his glorious wisdom, swiftly went to work to bring enormous positive change to humanity. Glam uh, metal and wrestling became the only form of entertainment through medium force. He reimagined the food pyramid for the modern devotee of excess. Cash uh, incentives for extramarital sex. Let us not forget Supreme Glam leaders spending on drugs and escorts alone contribute to half the world's economy. Wow! He is so glorious. Now so remember, glorious. to live the life of excess is to live like Supreme Leader Paradigm. If you disagree, please make your way to Glamification Center for some light torture. He did? Have a put some shit, really? I I didn't even notice. Oh my god, that's okay. Yeah, the black guy, yeah, or the the black metal guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Wow. All right. <clears throat> okay. You ready? Oh, no way. Does it do anything? Just rolling down. Oh, we found a floppy. He found a floppy and a keyboard. Okay. <laughs> Which subtitles? Visitor incoming. All right, go, go. Back to Lurkland. Symbolism in the dream thingy? Yeah, the, yeah. <coughs> fan ending rules, that's very true. Fan ending is actually, fan ending is definitely the best, yeah. 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 All right, let's All let's right, go. Paradigm. It's time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye with the sweet tunes of synth disco. May it haunt you in the afterlife. Engage disco lasers. Pause time. And with that, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service. Uh, unnecessary sequel. A 
can't pause time. I forgot about the anti-assassination force field. Turns out it works both ways. What? Hey, oh my god. Do you mind walking a little closer? <laughs> Why would I walk a little closer? You're going to die, Paradigm. Ghost class will love me. I didn't prepare the cat poop though. Damn it. Am I going to die now? Can I do that now? Put the dirt down and, you know, disable the lasers. I had worse than death story ever. Oh god, the laser is going to shoot. Oh no. Oh. Alright. <laughs> you like the glam ending? Best? Okay. Alright, fair. Alright, I need to open the can and then do whatever with it, right? How do I open such a can? Maybe this time I can finally use my army knife, right? Hey, it's full of candy. Oh, wait. I remember in that children's book, full of vomited candy. Gross. Hey, I've been saving that for reanimated class. I have five Baba Yagas working around the clock to bring him back from the dead. What? So far, they've spent my advance on vodka and mushrooms. I still believe, though. The hyper please is back. Oh my god. <laughs> Glorious. Okay, right click to loot. Loot dead corpse. Gee, we, we killed someone? Cheesy bar, come on. Finally. Oh, Bessel. Oh, Bessler. Oh, Bessler. <laughs> Brings cheese in convenient bar form to remove the social stigma of wanting to eat cheese at any time or event. With Cheesy Bar, you can have your favorite snack during doctor's appointments, waiting in line at the post office, or even funerals. And it's totally socially acceptable. Hi, Sally! You can dance with us a little bit, because this is some lovely music. My, my floof is... Ugh. There's the spider in front of the window. Anyway, Kira is dreaming. <laughs> so, yeah. Then there's the energy bar with real meth. Oh, Bessler's energy bar is the closest thing you can legally buy to experience a heart attack. With enough bars, you can run just as fast as the Flash. Disclaimer, for each standard serving, two years will be taken from your average life expectancy and pupils may stay permanently permanently dilated. Alright, yes, all the dance. Probably a dance command would be pretty cool, right? Then there's the Suppositorlicious Rear Berry. Do you find that you cannot gorge yourself with enough chocolate to cure your insatiable urge? <gasps> yes. Do you find yourself unhappy with the amount of calories you consume within a certain time frame? Yes. Suppositorlicious offers a new way to consume candy when your face hole physically can't take down anymore. Oh. Oh. That's... <laughs> Then there's a protein bar. Protein harvested from the freshest fetuses. All right. Oh, Bestless Protein Bar is the first ever to use real fresh fetuses. All of our fetuses are free range and are grown with minimum chemicals and contain minimal carbs. Get that edge on your bros before that music festival gets swole, get ripped and find your bro or brolina today. <laughs> Suppositorlicious. Yeah, supposi suppositorlicious. Suppositorlicious. Yeah. 
But hey, that pro is that that game is I uh, I don't know. That is wow. That's pretty cool. And then we have the hermit nut. <laughs> Each nut is meticulously kept in complete solitude without any contact. Then, in a cruel twist of fate, we crush them to death into a candy bar with their brethren, ending their forced hermit lifestyle for your gluttonous benefit. <laughs> I want to have a protein bar! Yes! Can I have more? I think that is enough candy. I don't want to become a diabetic too. How would I translate suppositorlicious? It doesn't, it literally says rear berry. <laughs> shh, 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 Pichu, no. <laughs> oh god. All right. Uh, okay, we, we got candy, we got candy. Now, what are we doing with the potato? Potato science is the work of the devil. Carb heavy devil, which lends me my large love handles. Damn it, Paradigm. Powering the laser was all that potato had. What is he going to tell his potato family? Please just plug it back in so I can kill you. So, yeah, nah. so mean! I have already disabled this potato power. I need to disable the others. But Hello, vodka ingredients. Hello, oh, she still talks. It's up for it's yours. Shh, shh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I need to. We need to disable the others. All right. Uh, how do we do this? Oh God, the laser is going to shoot. I need to move faster. I really wish I could do a Rocky style montage. Not that it's convenient no. right now. There no. There must be a better way to be faster. No. Oh. Hey, there's nothing like a bit of brotherly murder. No. Boys, boys. Stand a little closer. Can I eat it though? I feel jacked already. I better go to a music festival before this wears out. You're jacked already. I better go to a music festival before this wears out. All right, all right. Now with extra calf strengthening formula. Wow. If I eat this, maybe I can finally wear shorts in the summer. How many fetuses did we just eat? Hello, calf strengthener. Just a question. All right. Uh, we need. Which one was the energy bar? Yes, when earth bars, you can run as fast as the flash. I think that is enough candy. I don't want to become a diabetic too. <laughs> he said boys will be boys. <laughs> okay, we have to eat those all. I feel jacked already. I better go to a music. Wait, can I? Can I now? I think that is enough. Okay, that is enough candy. All right, all right. Oof. Oof. This does not need to have. Sorry, yeah, sorry, power sorry, power sorry. Power sorry. Power I need to eat it. All those cups of coffee at home really have cranked up my caffeine tolerance. I should eat more of these. Damn it! Feeling a bit happier. Not bad. Could still go for another. Alright. Feeling it a bit more. I could finish at least three last minute essays right now. Could still go for another. Give my candy. <laughs> mm, my 
heart sure feels like death right now. I'm pushing the human body to the limit for the good of mankind. Could still go for another. Ah, still go for another. Oh god. I think I can see through time. Oh god. What is happening? Jesus Christ, what's going on? That mouse looks like it's ready to wreck shit up. Look at those biceps. Pretty sure he is not gay. Oh god, the laser is going to shoot. Oh, look at us! Pretty sure that mouse can beat the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh god, the laser is going to shoot. <laughs> Alright, uh, we need to... Is that good for the mouse? I cannot do an alcohol job. God, the laser is going to shoot. Ah, okay. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, how do we... This is not a cute tiny screw. No? Oh God, the laser is going to shoot. Wait, what am I going to do with the mouse? I don't actually know. What's with that? Oh, God, the okay. laser is going to shoot. Okay, that is off. And now? The mouse looks like it's ready to wreck shit up. Look at those biceps. Pretty sure he is not gay. Oh god, the lit. Uh... with the fly shoe that makes me sad why would he use the bobble head on a mouse i don't know but this doesn't work right put the dirt down first oh and, put the dirt you know, oh. disable the okay. lasers okay i'd rather not die while gardening oh. <laughs> Death story ever. Oh God, uh the paradigm to shoot. Oh, okay. okay oh it's the cheese oh my god of course it's the cheese yeah sure of course obviously obviously right unless the rat also prefers a protein bar you little buddy i hope this is up to your mousy standards i heard you guys can be real assholes when it comes to quality control not cool dude oh. nope he does not like the cheese oh god the laser is going to shoot he does not like the cheese really Oh, I hope I don't have to use that one. Alright. Alright, let's try the protein. Here are some more protein, you cute beefcake. Cheers, dude! My body is now ready to experience a new level of body dysmorphia. Damn it, Chad! Keep coming! Uh... I need the power for the laser to kill Paradigm. Sorry, bro. My thighs are too jacked. Oh, yes. Lasers are offline. Those oh. energy bars are wearing off, too. Time to do the pig's plan. Now, where was their mark again? Oh, man. Really? I don't really have a plan B here. Ha! Who knew you were so good at solving puzzles? Who knew? I certainly didn't. <laughs> From the security cam vision, I'm actually shocked you managed to survive this whole time. Ever since we dumped you there. Yeah, good mousey. Yes, base vegan mouse. <laughs> uh huh. Eating the fetus protein bar. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we need to first the soil. Put it onto the cat shit. Almost time to stop this procrastination journey. Hey, oh, I'm so sad. So what sad. Is that dirt for? No biggie. I just like placing dirt around. You know, I'm just a quirky guy. You're lying. That's it, Paradigm. I'm going to crush you with my chair. No. Prepare for pain. No. Come on, man. Don't be like this. Oh no. Don't crush me, please. I'm gonna get ya. Why? He sounds like he's playing with me. I really would like to cuddle you, but, you know, 
when you don't want to kill me. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Would you consider just killing yourself? It would make things a lot easier. It would mean a lot to you. It's tempting. However, I regret to inform you, I respectfully decline. Shit! All right. Well, I'm just going to go online and post on forums to see what the next step is. Uh -huh. I'll be back tomorrow, and I should have something ready for you. I. <laughs> Hello, fellow internet friends. I am looking to kill someone ASAP. What do you think is the best way? Can anyone give me a tutorial over Skype? Signed, Pusslayer25123. Good name. Go kill yourself. That wasn't very helpful. <laughs> All right, let's let's do it, shall we? Let's let's do that. Final thing. Final thing. Are you ready? Am I leaving ceremony today? So I gotta make sure. Oh, that is wait. It's today. I thought it's on. Oh, it's yeah. It's on Wednesday. I thought it's on Thursday. All right, all right. Well, are you prepared to learn your speech? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's that's his username. Obviously, I mean, look at him. Obviously. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this game. <laughs> two speeches? Two two speeches? Wait. I thought one. Oh yeah, you you got this. You'll do great. I'm sure you'll do great. Let's go. Man, I really hope this works. Me too. Did you just plant an instant tree? Oh god. Why did I stock that in the vending machine? Yeah. I better stand back. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. God bless Dupa's guaranteed 80% product failure rate. Maybe I'll just hire a hitman from the deep web. How does that sound, Paradigm? Wait, something is happening. Uh-oh. Uh I I I this tree is so beautiful. I love trees. Good job, Paradigm. Thanks. Wait. What the hell? How did you get through there? What? Oh, turns out there is another entrance. I'm pretty mad right now. I can't even emote. Psh. Well, you saved the world from an entertainment dictatorship. What are you going to do now? Probably... Probably should finish my EP. Procrastinate. I think I brought the sport of procrastination to its peak, to be honest. No. I'm basically the procrastination king. Uh, May your no. reign last for thousands of years. Epilogue. The elusive beat. Walking sim. Not going rider. to lie. After that whole pretending I'm dead thing, I didn't think Paradigm would buy me a car. I have to go think that OG. Especially so next time I can't pay rent, he'll be less mad. I should go ask John where he's at. We're dark now? Oh my god. That's pretty cool. Gotta do one during the morning meeting too. Ugh. All right, all right. 
They always say that they will send it in a discreet package, but I know what Paradigm was ordering. That sick bastard. Who knew he was so into scrapbooking? What a goddamn pervert. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Alright, alright. Uh... Oh! Hit that! Beats! Hit that! Okay, uh, well, I have to hit it. Oh, I don't think you saw that. Like, look at this. Wow. I planted the new plant. Fingers crossed it's another one that talks. Preferably raps. I have always wanted to be in a hip hop duo. Nice. I planted the oh. new prefer I have always. It's been a bad economy for beats as of late. Too many beatboxes, not enough rappers. <laughs> what? What are you thinking? All oh, right. There's there's nothing else here. All right. Um. Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in. I love his car. <laughs> Wait, the tutorial button is gone. The sexy pens are still here, however. Paradigm continues to think of new ways to make himself as unsexy as possible. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> alright, alright. Whoa, looks like Paradigm is actually doing some work. <gasps> Or just procrastinating again by eating ungodly amounts of cereal. Probably the latter. Probably. <laughs> yeah, he does have a carpet. Yeah, he does. He does. But yeah. Um John, who is that? What the hell? All right, all right, okay. New gear. Wow, that's Where that is proof. Where did Paradigm get all this new gear from? Does he have a new beatboxing eggplant that actually pays rent? There will be no more dropping of fat beats if that's the case. <gasps> okay, okay. Well, John. Hey, John. Uh, have you seen Paradigm? Is he not talking? Who wouldn't want to carpet? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Epi people <beeper> rooms. <laughs> sure. Where can I find him? Boy, old mate is heading out on tour. Oh, bro. Why didn't he invite me? He did. Multiple times. You just kept beatboxing over him and pretended not to hear. So oh. he, he was asking for rent. Oh, right. Oh. Where is he going exactly? Uh, he should still be at the buzzer stop down at the edge of town. Do you need directory days? Man, I can never understand the thing you're saying. Do you need help getting there? Yes, actually. You gonna head there now? Hang on, uh, I'm going to look around. No worries, mate. Hey, John, uh, have you seen Paradigm? I want to ask you all the questions. How's the whole creepy toe chasing robot thing going for you? Huh, <laughs> funny you say that. Tom's a changed dog. Got my little missus here. I've fallen in love. Have I you? never knew the love a washing machine could give. Oh. She keeps me clean, figuratively and literally. Oh, oh right. Uh, big ups to you, big man. <laughs> Oh my. These two talking to each other is weirdly magnificent. Yeah, right? That's... I mean, the only thing that that is missing in the scene is Igoshki, right? Where did Paradigm get all this gear? Well, after the whole duper genetics incident, Paradigm bloody buckled down and got serious. Wait, did he actually become successful? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he just went and fizzled with the duper genetics and sold everything on a basky. He what? Stole Ow. everything, mate. He bought me a Strollo too. 
Although the place is basically worth nothing these days anyway. So you got some bonzer wheels too. He actually did it? That's pretty impressive. Point and click games? <clears throat> yeah? What? What are those directions? Just take a mizza and walk down Old Borkovitz Road. Make a sharp bloody left on Dinky, dear of its road. Then go Dinky left on Old Raza Road. Go through Crush Forest, then continue through to Wolf Wolf Tunnel. You got that? Oh. Ah, uh, the refreshing breeze of nuclear fallouts. Uh. <laughs> What is that face? Oh my god. What is that? I don't know. You may not pass! Hello, traveler! Uh oh. You must answer these riddles too. Oh no. Or was it three? Well, I'm not sure. Oh. Let's just make it three for it's now. It's a bridge troll. I, I have already passed the bridge. Oh, damn it, really? Yeah, sorry, Shannon. You're getting better at this every day. Watch a few more video tutorials and you'll be a real bridge throw. Ah, thanks for understanding, Doc. He didn't understand a word? Well, how? He was perfectly understandable. Also, he's not TV man, okay? He's Sean 3000, will you please respect the man? He's just trying to find love. With a washing machine. <laughs> My breath. <laughs> the bridge troll though, I mean, really. Really? Oh. No, I just can't. <laughs> Med bed? Worst. There's always vodka and ciggies on these tables. Yogiski bear is behind this. He has more substance addictions than the average bear. Wait. The bear and the car are not belonging together, right? Republic of Pashinskal's Pride and Joy, Luda Nava. First car in Eastern Europe to have a tape deck. <laughs> I lost my hip opportunity in there. What the hell is this? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a woof woof tunnel. That's a. Uh, that's very impressive. <laughs> it's really nice to see that Paradigm is spending his money wisely. Graffiti murals are doing great in this economy. Uh huh. Uh huh. And. Yeah. Alright. Will this drop down on me? I sure hope not. Crash car. Cool. I remember hearing about this accident. A uh, bunch of rats managed to ride this in tandem. Apparently they were brilliant drivers. It's everyone else that is terrible at merging. Oh, it is for 20, yeah. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> woof woof tunnel. The government tried something different and asked the local pets for their opinion. Oh. Van Bubat's legal? 
Where's Bubats? 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 Oh, cause How about this? I think a little more beep boop would be better. Uh, good idea actually. Well, 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 look who it is. My favorite unnutritious vegetable. Haven't you heard? Eggplants are now considered a part of the gangster family. None of these vegetables are actually fruit bullshit. If I wasn't so excited about this new track me and Olaf wrote, I would berate you about how stupid that is. I feel pretty left out, man. Not going to lie. Don't worry. You're going to be beatboxing in the interlude. Yeah, boy. Also, sorry about that whole beatbox ignoring thing. Oh, good, man. You're my boy. Damn it, bro. I'm gonna cry. Let's hear that new track. I think that's actually Chi Chi. We're leaving Krush. That's not the worst speed, honestly. That's not the worst. Sink Dove is is back. So yeah. That's cool. Oh the the epic track is done already. I thought Dark would be beatboxing during the interlude. Interlude? Why where where is that? I'm missing that. Oh. Oh. Oh well. All right. Yeah, I guess that is that is an actual Chichi. Go hide him for voice acting. Vitas, Vanas. Oh, for more than ninety percent of the bugs. Okay. Also, Mariana Funes. That's cool. Nice. So emotional. <laughs> Wait, the song, the game. Oh, we know that song. We have heard this one before. So yeah, Chichi. Um, I guess this was Paradigm. Pretty epic, actually. Pretty epic. Um, I'm really glad I I decided to to try it out. Yeah. The end. Yeah. <laughs> But like, wow, wow, we would have missed out so much, right? This is a real gem of a game. GG's, thank you, thank you everyone, thank you. Yes, the, the game is GG, honestly, like really good, good work, fun. 
quite um, quite a lot of, of gameplay. I mean, point and click gameplay. Nice, very nice, very nice. It's been a journey. It it has been, it has been so epic. Wow. Right over the kickstart again. So much support that he could quit his job. Wow. Oh, Gronk was there. Oh yeah, that is to be expected, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Well, honestly, if I had seen that game... I mean, I get it. I get it. That totally deserves being kickstarted. Eric Range? I don't know who that is. Thought he'd be in the kickstarter. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, that was... Uh, I mean, obviously, because... Because the, the head collection. <laughs> it's such a gem, yeah, it really is. Pretty amazing, yeah. Only the beat at the end now. That's my only... That's really the only... Critique that I have to give. Is... Um... The beat at the end now. I, I was missing the interlude with... Doug's beatboxing, honestly. Because remembering Doug from Doug's talent from the beginning of the game, he's actually pretty good. So that would have been a, another blessing if we had heard that. I'm just joking, obviously. But, you know. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, he is. Oh, that's his name. Okay, well, I wouldn't know. How would I know? Wow. And that's it. To all the people who didn't watch it or play it, you've missed out. I, I just, there's nothing else to say. This is amazing. It's, it's epic. It's, it's so fun. It's really, really well made. Uh, except for the apple vegan part. <laughs> that was weird. All right, see ya. Have a good time. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Bye.